that's the attitude of most parents. And it's the policy that ABC adopt too, with their Saturday Miners matinees. Just look at those happy faces. They're certainly going to enjoy the fun while their parents get on with the Saturday shopping. It all starts here with the shooting of films which are produced specially for youngsters with the help of the Children's Film Foundation. It may well be an exciting historical adventure like this. The thrills and spills of Australian surfboat racing. Ever popular comedy classic. There's always a friendly welcome, and the ABC manager sees that the children are in capable hands with the senior boys and girls as monitors helping the theatre staff. On the stage, there may sometimes be a special treat when a well-known star comes along to entertain. Often, supporting the films are talent contests and fancy dress parades. Not forgetting such important things as road safety, all presented in an entertaining way. Every week, ABC remembers the lucky girls and boys whose birthday it is. With price of admission so reasonable, this is wonderful value. What did we tell you? Nothing's too good for the youngsters at the ABC Miners Matinee at this cinema and most other ABC cinemas every Saturday. All youngsters thoroughly enjoy the films, the fun, and the good fellowship. Time is World War II, when the free world was threatened by a maniacal dictator. When the skies over England were harassed by a ruthless enemy hell-bent on our destruction. A time of crisis that cried out for a man to match the hour. Another Drake, a George Washington, another Churchill. Spring, summer, autumn, or winter. Over the sea, or out of the sky, or... or up between our legs, or up... Wherever they come from, we'll be ready for them. Do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler, if you think we're on the run? Now, we've no arms, but we have one invaluable weapon in our armory. Ingenuity and improvisation. That's two. Again. <laughs> It was a time for men of ingenuity. Oh, excuse me, uh, Padre, I don't suppose you'd be interested in buying some petrol coupons. The hour for innovation. What's that supposed to be? You said if we hadn't got anything else, we'd tie a carving knife to a broom handle. I didn't mean that you were to leave the broom on the end of the handle, you stupid boy. Dad's army. Men of valor. Men of courage. Guardians of our survival. Meet them. Captain Mannering, Sergeant Wilson, Lance Corporal Jones. Who do you think you are? We're the local defense volunteers, and I'm their appointed commander, Captain Mannering. And I must ask you to keep your hands off, my privates. And the privates, God bless them. Fraser, Walker, Godfrey, Pike. Uncle Arthur must be a very light sleeper, Mum. Oh, why? When I came down this morning for the milk, his bed hardly looks slept in. And the women behind the men. We shouldn't have had that joint the weekend. No, well, you know what my husband is, Mr. Jones. I mean, he will insist on his little bit of brisket. Right, get Billy. Oh, nothing's already it off. The war took six of the best years of the lives of millions. Now you know why. This gal... This gal, this gal, 
And this gal are one and the same person. She's a bright new comedy star, Sandy Duncan. Bad checks. Ah, uh, uh, well, you printed them. This guy. Rope, this guy. Rope. This guy. And this guy are also one and the same person. He's funny man Dean Jones. <laughs> and these two deserve each other. Katie, you're not listening to me. We're going to be rich beyond our wildest dreams. Oh, honey, I always knew you'd make good. Even when Papa kept saying, don't marry that no good lazy, you know. In Walt Disney Productions' 24 karat comedy, Million Dollar Duck. <laughs> The fun begins when science professor Dooley inherits a radiated dropout duck named Charlie, who flunks every lab test in the book. Oh, come on, Dooley. Get that stupid duck out of here. A duck? Dooley gives Charlie to his son. But I want a puppy. I don't want a dumb old duck. Don't bother your father with that now. He has little enough on his mind as it is. Then discovers the dinghy duck lays gold eggs. You're looking at a believer. <sighs> when the dog barks, the duck lays an egg. I don't know why. Well, that's not the way my mother explained it to me. I mean, this duck is, it's, uh, strange. Oh. Now, feathers fly. When Katie spills the beans. Hurry, hurry. Yeah, Albert, you told me to. <laughs> Evidently some kind of a new, uh, a gangland code word. <laughs> no, no, just plain duck, you know. Quack, quack. <laughs> Jimmy wants his duck. Charlie! Dooley wants his million dollars. <laughs> Katie wants her happy home. Why, you hit my husband! Till death do us in. Fred wants his share. I'd like a gold license for my little ducky who lays gold eggs. Hooper oh, wants his evidence. Anything happen back there? No. Albert, he knows. We know you got a duck here somewhere. A duck? And internal revenuers want them all. Get out of here! Get out of here! Thank you, AJ Ford. Move along, folks. I'll break it up. It's official United States government business. Government? No wonder you got everything all lost up. Never before has there been such a hilarious gold rush of motion picture entertainment for everyone. What are you trying to pull now, Dooley? Well, what do you think, Hooper? I'm waiting for a streetcar! It's a wild, improbable, funny story about a get-rich duck with Dean Jones, Sandy Duncan, Tony Roberts, Joe Flynn, James Gregory, and Charlie in Walt Disney Productions' 24-karat comedy, Million Dollar Duck. Ah. The vacation kingdom of the world in Florida. Walt Disney World opens October 1971. <laughs> How does it make you feel to be the first golden ticket finder? I'm the... Mike, the country wants to hear from you. The world is waiting. Can't you shut up? I'm busy. You're a real mean fellow. You never give me anything I want. I won't go to school till I have it. Violet. Call it, Mother. Open it, Charlie. Let's see that golden ticket. Wouldn't that be fantastic? It's not fair to raise his hopes. Never mind. Go on, open it, Charlie. I want to see that gold. Stop it, Dad. I've got the same chance as anybody else, haven't I? I never dreamed that I would climb over the moon in ecstasy, but nevertheless, it's there that I'm shortly about to be. Because I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden chance to make my way. And with a golden ticket, it's a golden day. I'm so glad you could come. This is going to be such an exciting day.
Little surprises around every corner, but nothing dangerous. Don't be alone. <laughs> There's no earthly way of knowing <laughs> He's singing. which direction we are going. beyond anything you've ever seen before. It's Bedknobs and Broomsticks from Walt Disney Productions. Who's digging in here? Who will defend every inch of England? To help England fight off an impending invasion, <laughs> an apprentice witch goes to war with centuries-old empty armor. Getting on the map. Bedknobs and Broomsticks. Starring the incomparable Angela Lansbury. My first broom. As Miss Eglantine Price, who takes a correspondence course in witchcraft. And David Tomlinson. As Professor Emilius Brown, a lovable London con man. And three homeless cockney waifs who alone can help Eglantine find the missing spell. Their search is supersonic. Their adventures are ultra fantastic. For some reason, we have great difficulty finding referees round here. Perogy. And her magic is enchanting. Oh, Charlie! It's grand when you're dancing on the sea. See Angela Lansbury. Bobbing along, singing a song on the boat. In Walt Disney Productions' most magical motion picture, Bedknobs and Broomsticks. It's family entertainment. Full details of programs at this cinema can be found in the Evening Mail. Your guide to our programs. Alive. Visit Television House, where service after sales is your safeguard. You've only yourself to blame. You blundered. You got them curious the moment you left home. Too conspicuous. Too easy to pick out of the crowd. Disguise was useless. You had the formula and they knew. Oh, 
yes, they knew. The Woolmark from Holmes. Set you up right away as a target for them. How could they possibly miss the horns mark in wool? The wool horn mark, the, the, the wool mark from horns. How confused you were. Oh yes, you felt warm, comfortable, secure. Your cover was faultless. And then they started to close in on you. Yes, you, you poor blind fool. Somebody had got your measure. Somebody had sized you up. You better admit it, my friend. Now you're facing the consequences. Now you're expendable. your PG, you look about ready for a spot of PT. At the double, you are a little <coughs> man! To buy the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honeybees and snow white turtle doves. I like. 
Master Maze meets Blondie Butter. Wham! It's Butter Kissed. Butter Kissed. On sale now. Now is the time. Time for ice cream. Ice cream time! It's ice cream time with Lion's Mane. Ice cream time with Lion's Mane. Thank you. 